It has probably happened to all of us at one time or another. You find yourself with multiple copies of the same document. For whatever reason, maybe you're working on the document and a coworker is working on it as well, or you lost the document or whatever. In this lecture, I will show you how to take two different versions of the same document and have Microsoft Word tell you what is different. So you don't have to scour through the document yourself. So I have a document called Compare One Open and I just talked to Steve and Steve said that he's working on this document too. So obviously we don't have SharePoint in this scenario. So Steve sends me over his document and now I want to know what the difference is between the two. So you want to head over to the review tab and on the right hand side in the compare group you click on compare and I am going to select compare two versions legal black line. Legal black line is going to compare the documents and then open up a third document to see what your differences are. So it doesn't actually change the original documents, which is good because you can take the new document and see if it meets whatever standard you have before permanently changing any original. All right, so I'll go ahead and click on compare and then you have to pick the documents. So difference one, and then I'm looking for difference two. And difference two is the one that Steve was working on. So I'm going to change the label to Steve. And before I click on OK, let me show you what's under more. More is everything that is going to be comparing. And I don't usually mess with this. I, I leave the defaults. And that's because if I were to turn some of these off, that setting is going to keep the next time I run another compare. So I leave it how it is. All right, I'm going to click on OK. And just that quick, it compared the two documents. So there are five things different from my document and Steve's. I can tell there are five because over here on the left hand side, five revisions. So Steve deleted a lot of things. He deleted the mission statement. He deleted this bullet point. Um, he deleted a whole section on hours and operation. He deleted part of a sentence here, it looks like. So there are five things that Steve deleted. On the right hand side is my original document here. And as I scroll, you notice it scrolls in the middle and on the bottom. On the bottom is Steve's document, how he changed it. And you can see it says Steve. All right, so in the middle is what you want to look at. So I will scroll down a bit. And you can see that mission statement has some track changes on it. It's got the lines through it, letting me know that it was deleted. And I can roll my mouse over it. And it tells me that Steve deleted it. And it says the date and time that he did it. All right. And then you can just, if you want to scroll through and see all of the different deletions. There's another one. I'll roll my mouse over it. And again, it will pop up that Steve deleted it. All right, so now it's totally up to you. If you've ever used track changes before, you would go through this and you would either accept or reject the changes. So maybe I want to accept this first one. No, I want to reject that mission statement was deleted. So I'm going to click on my little X here to reject that. So that's going to keep it in there. The next one, hour of operations, I'll accept that it's been deleted. Uh, your products and or services down there at the bottom. I want to reject that change. So you just go through and accept, reject, accept, reject. I'm going to reject mission statement. All right. So I click on OK and there aren't any more. Zero revisions. I rejected Steve's deletion of mission statement. So it's in the document now. And this document here in the middle that I'm looking at, this would be the third document. I can now take this document and do a file save as and take it to whoever I need to to see if it's okay. My original document hasn't changed at all. Steve's original document hasn't changed at all. We still have our separate versions and now we have this nice version in the middle that I have gone over and accepted or rejected changes to.
So comparing documents, it's really easy to do. No longer do you have to print them out first and have them side by side on a table or even side by side on your computer screen. Just go to the review tab, compare, compare. 